been waiting for this. Per usual, so many of you gave me a hard time for my autofocus video. And you said, well, of course it's not gonna work with Olympus lenses. You have to have Panasonic lenses. So, I went ahead and bought essentially the same lens that I'm using on this Sony in terms of equivalent. This is a 12 millimeter 1.4. So I'm using a 16 millimeter 1.4 on the Sony. I got the Lumix, Panasonic, branded, Leica. Let's see how it works. Okay, so first test here, aperture priority mode, aperture 1.4. Face detection, speed plus three, sensitivity minus three. Let's see how it works. Not bad. Not too bad. So yeah, I kind of decided that I kind of missed the GH5 for vlogging. I really missed the flip out screen. There are just so many times that I'm recording with this Sony and I record some sort of long talking segment only to get back in post and realize it was either really overexposed or underexposed or the white balance was just terrible. And I try to not have perfection in my vlogs. Like I can't spend that much time on them. But when the exposure is completely off or the white balance is completely off and I just don't know it at all until I get in a post, it can be a little frustrating because then the quality that comes out of it is just crap because you can't even fix it if it's just really, really off. So my thought was if the autofocus could improve a bit with the GH5 on the new firmware 2.4, well then I could use it. Does it look nice? It's working. Really? It's nice. Did it? Yeah. I'm less concerned about it having super flawless, like fast, continuous autofocus because I know at the end of the day it probably won't be. I'm actually more concerned about it being accurate when I do stuff like this. The biggest issue with some of the old GH5 stuff is that it wouldn't actually ever catch focus. And then when it did, it would kind of keep hunting and you'd see a lot of background pulsing. So that's literally what I'm gonna try the most and test the most is to see what it looks like. Every time I'm talking, there's something beeping up. So also let's talk about this. This is very different. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've been using the LG Ultrafine and then my laptop was kind of secondary set up next to it. And I kind of really have missed the ultra wide lately. I feel like there's been so many times that I just want more space and using my laptop and the LG by itself just felt like I didn't have, didn't have enough, didn't have enough space. And so I'm kind of going back to trying this using the LG Ultrafine as like the kind of look and actually be able to see full quality and do color and everything from that monitor, but still have all the real estate on this monitor to do the editing, I'm gonna try it out. But you'll also notice that I removed my actual studio monitors. I realize I don't actually need studio monitors for this because I don't edit on studio monitors anyway. Usually I use headphones for final mixing because my studio monitors just aren't that accurate. And unless you have really, really good studio monitors, it doesn't make sense to edit on them anyway. So I'm thinking, I'm just gonna try this and then just use headphones for most of my editing. And then I can just use this little Bose speaker here just for when I need to hear stuff, like just for the sake of editing. Definitely never ever mix on Bose. Bose just do not sound good. But it is nice and clean. Got the MacBook over there running into the monitor over here. Real clean here. This over here though is currently like a, a war zone because this is everything from my desk I took off and my interface and my monitors and everything and cameras and lenses. So obviously with this lens, my thought is that I'm gonna get rid of two other lenses. One of them is gonna be the 16 1.4 for the Sony. And then I'm actually gonna get rid of the Voigtlander 10.5 millimeter, the fully manual. I just have not been happy with that lens. I think it looks nice for the most part, but it just has weird focus effects and things and then being fully manual, it's just not super versatile. I think this lens makes a lot more sense. It was a lens I never really thought about purchasing before, but I really like it. I think it looks really nice. It's pretty happy with it. See this lens right here, the 10.5, but luckily it's gonna go to someone, uh, someone that really will utilize it. I'm speaking of my good friend, Cody Warner, of course. He's gonna buy that lens for me so he can have wider vlogs. I'm excited. He's the only guy that like, I don't think would actually know how to use 
autofocus. He only knows how to manually focus. It's actually quite comical to actually watch him vlog because he's so, he just dialed in. It's funny though. But anyway, that lens is going to him. The Sigma, we'll find another home for. See, the reason I want to use the GH5 for vlogging versus any other camera, like literally any other, is because I'm so used to every aspect of the GH5. I understand where buttons are, I understand settings, I have high frame rates, I understand just every aspect of this camera. I use this camera all the time, so it's easier to keep using this camera. But obviously, if you don't have reliable autofocus, then you're limited to using manual focus, and if you're using manual focus, it's just, just not ideal for vlogs. See, if you're the type of vlogger who like picks up the camera like this and is walking a lot, then a flip screen is not super important because if you have a camera that has great autofocus, you can just pick it up, point it to yourself, it's going to be in focus, doesn't really matter, you don't need to see it. So much of what I do on the channel is talk to the camera and I set it down and I talk to it, so it's important for me to be able to see the screen to make sure that things don't look crazy while I'm doing this whole segment of talking, you know? So the reason I go back and forth so many times with like getting rid of the GH5 for vlogging but then I eventually always come back to it is because there are so many things that are so important to me as a YouTuber of that side of what I do that the camera matches everything so incredibly for. One of those being the flip out screen because I do so many of these type of things where I'm looking at the camera and talking for an extended period of time. I like to be able to have a flip out screen so that I can see when things are correct or when they're way off and I can try to fix them before having to realize it in post. Secondly, high frame rate stuff. Not that I'm super into non-stop slow motion things that I do in vlogs. I'm not necessarily Peter McKinnon or any of the people that do that crazy B-roll all the time, but when I do want to do it. I love knowing that I have a camera that can do it outstanding and the GH5 having such high frame rate stuff and really good slow-mo stuff just makes it just awesome to use when you actually want to do that stuff. I also like having a camera that has really good battery life because if I'm carrying it around all day I don't want to have to carry around 20 batteries with me so it's nice being able to carry two around that last me basically all day and I can keep a little portable charger with me. It just works really well. Really good battery life is something that's important to me. And then probably a silly thing but to me is actually really important because of the type of content that I hope to produce more of I like having a camera that has unlimited recording time because if I'm doing some sort of BTS where I want to capture an hour straight or an hour and a half straight or some of the upcoming speaking sessions that I have and I want to capture the whole thing so I can use bits and pieces if I'm filming myself and I'm speaking for an hour or I'm doing some sort of workshop or some sort of instructional thing I want to be able to set a camera up and press record and let it keep recording the entire Entire time. The 30 minute limits that the other cameras have aren't an option for me because I have to re record at 30 minutes, and if I'm not able to do that, well, then I miss out on the opportunity, and that's just tough for me. So, while I can totally understand that some people think the GH5 is not great for autofocus, I mean, if it's usable, if you're able to use it like I've been using it on this entire vlog, where I'm able to just hit record and let it do its thing. I think that's a great improvement. Is it absolutely perfect? I, I don't know. I mean, here's some testing for you. I'll step out of frame for you. Not bad, huh? Not bad. And I think it's actually working pretty decently. Without question, I think you guys were correct in saying that the Panasonic lenses work better. And that's awesome to me because I like the way this lens looks. I like the way this lens feels and the size. Everything seems pretty good about it, so I'm pretty happy with it. So this is some uh, low light testing just using like a lamp outside my house just to get a feel for how it does in lower light. I'm thinking it would probably focus even better because the only thing it has to look at is me because it can't say anything else, but Overall, I gotta say I'm fairly impressed. I'm not gonna say like unbelievably impressed because it's not like perfect autofocus, but the fact that it's actually what I think now is very, very usable. I'm glad I tried out the Panasonic lens and, and listened to you guys. I think it's important for you to realize that the way that I create content and the way that I want to be a person that's always learning, when I post videos and you guys post things like try this or try that, I'm also listening. The videos I post are not just to say that I know everything. I post things because I also learn so much from you guys as well and we're all learning. So. Thanks for saying it. The lens seems to work good. I think the lens looks good. I really like the lens. 
I'm excited. Now, of course, everything I just said could have been pulsing like crazy with the focus. I don't really know, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. But anyway, that's gonna do it. Pretty short vlog to the point, just talking about the fact that I still do love the GH5, and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna use this to vlog again. It's just what I think is the best vlogging camera for me, and uh, maybe it's the best one for you as well. I love this lens. I'll put a link to it down below. Seems like a good lens to use, but tomorrow's gonna be a really long day, really exciting day in New York City, so stay tuned to watch the video the next day uh, and see what we were up to. See ya.